Aries, keep it there please. What is going on my babies? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time for the month of February. Yes indeed. You know it is 2020 show me the money season. Shout out to all my divine masculines that is going through their takeover season right now. Shout out to all my men out there doing their thing thing. What's up y'all? Listen, thank you guys so much for clicking this video and sharing your time with me Scorpion being reds all right we're going to find out what's going on for february thank you guys so much for like sharing and subscribing shout out to my og shout out to all my new bees what's going on if there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading with me you can feel free to do so by clicking the about tab the booking information and it's, it's there um the price list and make sure after you book that you send me a message on Instagram. I do video chats only on Instagram and on Google Hangouts. If you do not have a Instagram, only thing you need to do is download Google Hangouts. All right. And we can exchange emails. That's all I really need to get in contact with you. My email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So after you book with me, make sure that you send me a message on Google Hangouts or on Instagram so we can conduct the video reading. All righty. So Thank you guys so much for all of the support throughout 2019. All of these wonderful decks here. Majority of them were donated by you. And I thank you so much. If anyone would like to share and send any love to the page. You guys um, seem to be using the Amazon wish list. So I have updated that. So you guys can feel free to send some love through the Amazon wish list. Um, there's also the PayPal and the Instagram, so you can also um, send a dollar, two or three if you if the if the spirit moves you. If these videos give you insight, some type of love and support and clarity that is just helping you um, make it through whatever process and transition that you're going through and if you want to show some love i would greatly greatly appreciate it it helps my page be able to grow and me be able to have all of these beautiful decks here um that you see before your very eyes so again thank you so much aries you know that you are one of my favorite favorites i would grab fat man batman but he is all the way over there in the cut chilean so i ain't gonna bother him so listen Let's get a quick prayer going on. Let's say a quick prayer over the energy. Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here, Father God. We thank you so much for elevating us, Father God. We thank you for keeping us in safekeeping, Father God. Continue to push us forward. Continue to keep us determined and steadfast towards um, seeing our victories and our goals in 2020. We are like charging forward, um, like claiming victory just like right, right now. You know, we are like really moving fast and we're ahead we're headed towards a lot of um just grand joyous um what am i trying to say it's like <laughs> they're like grand joyous elements it's like being able to touch the element or something like that it's like what i'm basically trying to say is like um I just feel like the climate just hasn't been right for some reason for something to grow and it's like we're moving towards a place where it's like the right element or something so I don't know if you guys are like transitioning to like a new destination where like the weather is better suited for you I feel like for your bones or for your health or some shit like that it has something to do with you just feel more comfortable and a different climate so um, for everyone that's climbing these mountains and that are moving and just going over these obstacles and knocking over these barriers shout out to all of you guys father continue to give us uh, progression and growth and healing and, and just nourishment and guidance continue to reach us and teach us every day father God and we pray amen all right so let's see what we got going on for my Aries all right let's see what we got there's something flip over Give me guidance for my Aries. We got sexual union, healing. Okay. Everyone seems to be getting these, this this card right here. This card right here. 
you may not understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil. A blessing will soon be revealed. Everyone is getting this. And I feel like that's because the retrograde is coming. Like, it's okay. So basically, I'm feeling like you guys have been in a sexual union with someone. And I definitely see that there's going to be some healing that's needed. Um, because. Something is going to happen um, that's going to cause some turmoil in this connection where you're going to have to sit down and do like some self-reflection to kind of decide what it is that you really want, what it is that you need to fix for yourself about yourself. Like, I feel like um, the connections that you're trying to like call into your life, it's like it has to be something deeper than just sex. Do you understand what I'm saying? A sexual unit, honor and cherish your relationship for it is... Uh, truly sacred so it's like the connections that you are having i feel like we need to stop like just having sex with people that we really don't have that sacred connection and that bond with because it's like you're really having a transformation of energy and it's like we get in these connections and we get into these bonds and you're transferring energy and you know sometimes it's mutual sometimes it's not sometimes it's mutual for a little bit but it won't stand the test of times and then you gotta like wean yourself off of this connection and you gotta heal and it's just it's too much do you understand what i'm saying and i feel like what aries is learning right now is like what you have especially sexually on that level is something that is truly cherished because it is something that is is very much so desirable and it's like you know once you get your hands on something and you get fixated on something it's like you locked in it you dare like you turned up you turned on to the max so it's like we don't have time to be wasting and be giving all that good love all that good passion all that good energy to something that is like not going to keep do you understand what i'm saying i don't want to keep having these connections with people where it's just going to fall apart and then like now I'm having to restart and have to go through this healing again. So healing, it said, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. So if this is somebody that you truly, truly, um, really desire and, 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 and honor this connection, like I said, it's like surround your relationship with light. Surround your relationship with light. And for some reason, I just like... It's something about the way he got his arms wrapped around this girl's stomach or something like that. I feel like this... this somebody feels like the way of healing might be through sex in a child or something like that. Like, but I just like... I don't feel like that's the answer. That's not the answer. Like, whoever this is, it's like, you see how this person is, like, praying over her stomach and stuff like that. Like, yes, like, find the light and everything. Like, you love her and stuff like that. But, like, don't do that. Like, like that is not going to heal the situation. And that's so crazy that that card looked like that. That's crazy as shit. It's this reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So, like... Seriously, it's like, it's like someone needs to be let free so they can grow a little bit. It's, it's like, you can't, sex is not going to be the healer. Sex and having babies and children and stuff like that, it's not, it's not going to heal the situation. It's not the answer. And I really do feel like someone needs to kind of like understand that and like mature a little bit in, 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 in thinking that. Because if this is something that is really going to stand the test of time, like it says, like, see a light around your relationship and allow it to heal and grow that way. Like, don't do anything, like, um, manipulative, because I feel like that's like a trap pregnancy or something like that. Like, that, I don't know why I don't like the way that he, he got his arms wrapped around his girl's stomach and stuff like that. Like, praying over, like, why are you praying over her stomach and her womb and her, like, why? What are you doing? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, you could have been, like, uh, embracing her in, like, a warm hug or some shit. Like, why the fuck are you doing that? Like, I don't know. That kind of, like, <sighs> girl. Give me guidance for the Aries. Ooh, shit. 
God damn. I see the death card in the reverse right there. Big as day. Good gracious. You guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. All right. You guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or this could just be a situation where it's like you're not really ready to let go. You're not ready to sever ties. You're not ready to let it end. Like, you want to find a way to, like, revive it and to, like, bring some life back to it. Like, almost. You know, it's like... For some reason, I feel like you feel kind of, and it's like, okay, so if you could think, if you could think of a, a Scorpio in an Aries in bed, can you imagine how like intoxic, intoxicating like that? I don't know if I'm saying that word right. Intoxicating. Can you imagine how intoxicating like that type of romp in the bed would be? Like, girl, like that is crazy. So it's like. Having something where I feel like that was like so deep, so passionate, so spicy, so like where it's, you know, fire and water create steam. That shit, you know what I'm saying? It's like steamy, you know what I'm saying? Like trying to find a way how to let that go. It's like, I don't want to let that go. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to let that go. I don't want to let that go. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like. There is a, a, a separation here because you have the death card. So it's like someone is literally at a point where they're having to face an ending. They're having to face a death that I feel like they might not be ready for. And right now it's telling you to like give it some space. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. You know, like you have to sit back and like have some time for space and reflection for your own self it looks like you know um what is this the four of pentacles all right so it seems like someone uh, the four of pentacles it's like someone has something that they might not be willing to give at the moment do you understand like they might be kind of sleep on you they might be sleep on you a little bit and you see like you see how she's sleeping he's trying to sneak and trying to get some you know, it's like you, I don't know if you had to sneak and try to get some, like, I don't know if, like, the, the tactic in the way you, you had to kind of, like, approach to try to get some honey out the honey pot a little bit. If you had to do, like, a little Jet Li, you know, Samurai Warrior, like, tactic or something to get, to get some, like, you know, like, you had to kind of wait till the girl would sleep and try to start pulling her titties out, suck on her titties, start playing with her, get her aroused while she sleep, you know, and then just like, yeah, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just, I feel like this is something one that is like holding back from you they're holding off of you and or they're playing coy whatever it is that they have they know you want it but they're it's like they're like not willing to give it to you at the moment you know what i'm saying it's like they're asleep they're just trying to relax they're like might be it might it, it, yeah I, I don't even feel like it's something that they're being secretive about about i feel like they just don't want to give at the moment they're being stingy. It's just like they're enjoying their beauty treatment. They're 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 enjoying their peace, their tranquility, kind of like being to their self at the moment. The nine of swords. So it's like this is like <laughs> it's like it's like some type of mental turmoil because this person I feel like stays up late and thinks about like how this person hypnotized them sexually you know what I'm saying and it's like they just stay up thinking about like having sex like just wanting to kiss them a certain way do this like man like the next time I see her or the next time I see him be yeah, I know Slim trying to end this shit, but I ain't trying to fucking end shit. Like, I don't give a fuck what this motherfucker talking about. You understand what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if, if, if I got to sneak up and, and get and get, and get get up on this. Like, this, look, I'm about, to, I'm, about to, I'm about to slide up on her like that. You understand what I'm saying? Or I'm going to wait till she sleep. Or, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to creep up on her and start playing with the kitty a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I know, look, that's our hot spot, that neck right there. I already know what to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... <laughs> It's like, I'm gonna get that job. Yeah, I'm gonna put a baby up in that motherfucker. That bitch ain't going nowhere. Like, I don't know why I'm kind of getting that shit. Because with that black cat right there, it's like this motherfucker is being secretive. This person is being like sneaky and mysterious a little bit. Like, with his approach. It's like, do you see him? It's like, she don't even know what she got herself into because I feel like this person, I want to say, stays up. 
like studying and plotting and like it almost drives this person crazy like just thinking about your touch thinking about your lips thinking about the curve of your hips thinking about like your feet thinking about how beautiful your ankles are like this per it like tortures this person it's like how your kitty purrs how your kitty tastes it's like girl like i am going to get you're going to let me in to this like you're going to it's like like oh my gracious look the star like this person is like the fucking star like they are like wishing on the star like you are my fantasy you are my vision you are like my picture perfect like <laughs> like you are it like you are it like I just want to drink your milk and honey it's just like you see he just wants to bath in just like her fucking juices it's like I don't even mean to sound that fucking graphic like that but that's how this man is like no you're not about to take this from me you gonna let me into this like girl look the high priestess and you know this girl like all oh, wanting to be alone wanting to be to herself like and he definitely he feels like it okay so with this four pinnacles and this high priestess he feel like this bitch is being stinky it's like so, and with that scorpio and bitch with that death card in reverse he's like you little sneaky bitch like it's something that you trying to hide from me that you trying to keep from me like why you just trying to like in things with me and like why I just don't understand why do you understand what I'm saying and it's like I want to say he want to come to her for answer but the high priestess don't just give information to anyone like you, you asking me why I want to know why you're asking me why why should I tell you why like why should I no you know what I'm saying like she's in her element she's comfortable as a motherfucker Studying her little spiritual shit, eating good, titties looking good. Like, I don't know, like, she's just looking like she don't have no care in the motherfucking world. And it's like, I got the keys, but I'm selective on who I give it to. And, like, I'm, like, honestly good with me holding the keys right now. Because I like to see y'all kind of, like... <laughs> <laughs> squirm a little bit it's like she know what she doing you understand what I'm saying like I kind of get that like it's like she's like like you want these keys these keys and it's like he kind of she kind of he kind of like her hands like how she do things with her hands it's like she knows like these keys these keys these keys <laughs> like you know what I'm saying like listen playing puss like oh you know, like, she is, ooh, bitch, what is going on here? The two of wands and the reverse. So, I feel like it's, like, some type of delay where you're not able to kind of come forward and give this person and approach this person in an appropriate way because of something that has something to do with you because if you look at this person like you see how she's like totally engulfed in him and they are all the way into each other like they are really engaged into each other i feel like for says something about you that it's like she rather just i feel like the sex and shit might be good but it's not enough. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not a fucking enough. It's not enough. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not enough. Because with this girl, she is so perfectly fine with being alone. Like, she knows she's the star. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's why she is reserved. She trying to play court. She trying to act like she sleep. This bitch not sleep. She know that you about to try to motherfucker sneak up and try to fuck us to lick on her titties and try to eat her puss while she sleep and try motherfucking bitch. This bitch know what the fuck she doing. You understand? Like she she will get she will let you do. If she want to get something real quick, she going to get something and she going to play court. But she, you ain't just about to get it that easy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, she know what the fuck she doing. Like, I just, I really do feel like she know what. And, like, she know what the fuck she doing. And it's like she kind of got you in the palm of her hands real quick. But it's something about you where you're being delayed. You're not able to move forward. And I feel like this woman or this man or whoever it is. 
um, doesn't have a problem with like kind of cutting you out. This could be an Aquarius. This could be an air sign. I mean, only thing I'm only thing I'm not seeing here is the earth sign. And I'm only water sign I'm really seeing here is the Scorpio. Okay, so the Scorpio. You got the um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You got the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely seeing fire and air. And then the only water I'm seeing is Scorpio. Attraction. There's like a deep attraction here. It's like the chemistry is out of this world. And, and, and. Love yourself first. It's like I told you, it's something that. See, the high priestess loves herself. The high priestess is someone, she's better left alone. Like, she thrives when she's on her own. And, like, she knows that. So, it's like if you're not equipped and if you're not coming to the table to really um, impress her, when she wants to share her knowledge with you, when she want to give you access to, you know, her dimension, like, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, She's better left alone. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's something about you where you're not loving yourself. You're not growing. You're not... You're not doing something. Do you understand what I'm saying? Where she feels like you are... You're attractive in the... In the, in the, in the attraction and shit is there. But it has to be more than just sexual. It kind of has to be on a spiritual level. And then, and then this... Okay, so... Remember I was saying something about the children and shit like that. Like, this person doesn't want kids. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't know if you have too many kids or you're not someone that they would want to have children with. And that's just me being 100% honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Because I seen that man over there praying over the stomach and stuff like that. And it's like, she don't want that. The high priestess is like, she don't want no motherfucking kids. But the high priestess is very fertile. So she does represent like childbirth and everything like that. So it's like this person very much so could like get pregnant. And it's like, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to be pregnant. I don't want to have. I don't want to have either another one of your children. Or I don't want to be a baby mother. You know what I'm saying? Like this got to be a sacred union. This got like this this woman is telling you you need to go back and have some reflection and kind of deal with yourself and kind of like show me that you know who you are and that you love yourself and that you can grow on your own and that you you know what I'm saying? Because like I said the high priestess don't just give her information, don't just give her secrets and just don't give she she don't. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like you got to Really show you her worth. Like I told you, 2020 is show me the money season. You got to show me the money. You got to show me why I should give you these keys. What do you mean these keys? These keys? Yeah, I know you want these keys. But why should I let you have this? You understand what I'm saying? It's like there's a, you know, there's attraction, but there's not no soulmate connection. Damn sure not enough to have no fucking kids or nothing like that. That ain't the way to go about it. You know what I'm saying? No. No. Look, chemistry. Only thing there is is attraction and chemistry. You know what I'm saying? But there's no soulmate connection there. And it's something about yourself that you need to do some soul searching and you need to become the star so that you can meet this person on that level. You need to find out the secrets about yourself. You need to, you know, you need to be more than just sex to someone else. You understand? Because this is someone that kind of feel like, oh, okay, look, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. You know? So it's like she might be like like telling you this. Like you, you need to be more than just sex to somebody. That can't be all that you're bringing to the table. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you attractive. The sex is good. But beyond that, like, what else do we have? Like, we don't have anything else besides that. And that's like maybe a, something that this person needs to reflect on. You need to come to your own point of your life where you know who you are and you're on your path. So our paths can meet together and it could be more than just chemistry and attraction. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, this is, this is not, no. It's like, I only come out for my, for a soulmate. Unless I want to get my feet wet a little bit and go back in the house and play puss and play court. But other than that, like, I don't just be giving my value, you know what I'm saying? To just anybody, you know what I'm saying? So 
I feel like this person could be feeling like she being sneaky and all of this stuff like that. Like, oh, she might not be giving it to me. She might be giving it to somebody else. And this person is staying up thinking about all of the sex and all of this and all of that. And is driving this person crazy and everything. But I don't think that this girl is doing a motherfucking thing. But she might have just got some sex out of you. You know what I'm saying? And you... Wanting to get back in and not wanting to end something, but no, you know what I'm saying. I, I really kind of feel like this woman stays to herself, and she's just not wanting to deal with someone because they don't know who they are and don't know their purpose in this world, and they're not anything more than just sex. Like you gotta be something more than just sex and it's no disrespect. It's not like this person is trying to disrespect somebody, but outside of sex we don't really have a connection. You know what I'm saying? So what is this abandonment? And it's like this person doesn't want you to feel no sense of abandonment because it's like I feel like you're taking it hard or something like that. But it's like that's why you need to go through this reflection because look, a union, a union, it's like you want this union, but you still come into the table with a mask on. It's like you still hiding some shit and you still holding secrets. And the whole thing about the high priest is the high priestess know everything. They're, the high priestess see you a mile of fucking way. So if the high priestess said that she pulling the death card out on you and she wants to disengage, I mean, at the end of the day, you can try to stop the ending with panting and begging and pleading and all of this shit like that and you driving yourself crazy, worrying and thinking about what the hell they doing and shit. But it's not really nothing that you can do about it because you got to come, you got to come, you got to take that mask off. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's probably why the fuck she not trying to deal with you. You understand what I'm saying? Because you want this union trying to come as something that you're not. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you still hiding secrets about who and what you really are. You're not showing someone the full aspect of who the fuck you are. And the high priestess know exactly who you are. She just ain't saying shit to you. She just cut your ass the fuck out. She just secluded herself. And is being mysterious. And, 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 and you know what I'm saying? Playing coy and just not giving to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, what the fuck is this mask about? It's something that you're hiding. Do you understand? And it might be that you're already in a union. That might be what that mask is about, you know? What is that? That's a, that's a moon behind that. You know, the moon also represents secrets and shit like that. It represents the hidden. So they might have one face on with you and then when they go out the door, they, they in a whole totally different situation. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like, how can you see, see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hold on, let me, let me back this on up here because I'm saying there's a secret union here. You know what I'm saying? There's a secret union. Refocus and victim and like, don't be trying to play no fucking victim. Yeah, like don't. Okay, so it's like. It's like you're not a victim. Like this person has abandonment issues and they have a problem always feeling like they're a victim. Like nobody did nothing to you. Like you have a mask on my nigga. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's something that you're hiding or it's something about yourself that you're not revealing to someone but still wanting to have this union with someone. And you need to re you need to turn back around and refocus on yourself so that you're not coming to a union with a mask on. Because there is something secret, something hidden. There's something. Do you understand? There is something, and that's why this person abandoned this situation, and you're going through this uh, this moment of abandonment and feeling victimized and things like that. But it's telling you yes, like the answer is yes, like that's. I really do feel like this is a confirmation, like that that the reason why the high priest, why the high priestess retreated and allowed you to sit back and look at your own reflection is because the relationship wasn't nothing but sex you don't really love yourself because you don't you're not coming to the table being something more than that with your own personality like have you ever talked to someone and it's like well what do you do or, 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 or who are you and they can't even tell you who the fuck they are like the only thing that they do is smoke weed drink beer um fuck bitches play video games uh 
hang out with their friends and blah like other than that that's all their life consists of like uh, outside of that they don't really have no real true conversation they don't have no goals they don't really have no person not like nothing do you understand what i'm saying so it's like how can i attach myself to that almost you understand what i'm saying like you have to refocus and be more than just a good night do you understand what i'm saying or good night do you understand what i'm saying what is this saying admired like you gotta tap into a passion you gotta find out what your gifts are what your gifts are because it's like you truly are admired but at the same time, it's like, you know what I'm saying? You need to blossom in your own path and, and, and express your own gifts, contemplation, and unawaken. It's like, you would be more admired and this person would feel a different way about you if you really knew what your talents are and what your gifts are. Remember, I was saying it's like someone that don't know who they are. Like, like who are you? What are you into? What are your passions? And like what? Sitting around smoking weed, hanging out on the block with my friends. That's not a talent. That's not a gift. Like who the fuck are you? You don't even you don't even know if you have any talents, any gifts or anything. This is someone that really needs to sit down and contemplate why they just been so unawakened and just been like, I wanna say just passing through life almost. Do you understand what I'm saying? Some people don't want to attach themselves to passer buyers. Like other than you just being like a some good a good fuck for the moment that's all you are because that's all you allowed yourself to be do you understand what i'm saying like and you gotta sit back and contemplate and do some soul searching that's that high priestess do you understand what i'm saying like that's even the four pinnacles someone holding themselves back and not giving themselves to everybody and because they understand their sense of value they really taking stock and taking access on what how much money they have how much they've accumulated what their work is and i'm not giving this shit to anybody freely do you understand what i'm saying because i worked hard to accumulate this money this money ain't come freely i came with work so you gonna have to work to get anything out of me if i give you any motherfucking thing do you understand so sometimes it is worth being stingy like that do you understand because you have more in the end you can't just give yourself to any fucking body do you understand there's block communication here which is communication being in the reverse and then there's solitude in the reverse okay and then we got the summer and then we got destruction so this is basically what I'm about to tell you. I feel like there's block communication. There's someone that's having to face a moment of solitude where they have to kind of sit to themselves and deal with themselves. Like I said, have that inner self-reflection. And it's like this person really does not know how to deal with that. And it's like instead of kind of realizing what you should be doing right now with this healing and this reflection and again you may not always understand why certain why certain things happen however there's always a higher purpose to life in your hold on you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed so it's like it's because you need to stop feeling like a victim all the time. I feel like because I feel like someone having a temper tantrum, like, you know what I'm saying? Because they're not getting their way and things not going their way. Just want to fall on the floor and just like cry abandonment and play victim. And it's like, you're not a fucking victim. Like you need to sit back and contemplate and really be to yourself to have some self-reflection, go through some healing. Do you understand? And take the fucking mask off. Be you. Find out who the fuck you are. That's why I saying contemplate in this unawakened because you truly don't know who you are. You don't want to. It's like you're, you're willing to surround yourself around anybody. Just to have somebody you know what i'm saying instead of just facing and dealing with yourself right now you don't need to have no communication you do need to be blocked off to the world so you could kind of sit and be alone and try to figure out who the fuck you are and what you want in life do you understand what i'm saying i feel like this summer is going to be a chance for you to 
like rebuild do you understand i feel like a lot of things in your life right now might be being destroyed might be just destroyed during the retrograde you know um but i definitely feel like they're it's being destroyed for a reason for things to be replanted and rebuilt this summer do you understand what i'm saying so if god want to destroy some things and take that shit down let him take it down if God is trying to tell you that you need to spend some time to yourself, baby, spend some time to yourself and heal, do that reflection and stuff like that so that you can really attract the sacred union and, and stuff that you really want because it's going to help you in the long run. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right, so let's see. Okay. And then um, right here with this summer card, I'm getting the five of pentacles. You know what I'm saying? You see the little five little knots right there and like the i take that as earth you know with the with the sand and the, all of that stuff so that taking that five is pinnacle so it's like you need to like it's a sense of lack it's a sense of lack it's a sense of non-worthiness that we need to work on and like if this doesn't apply to you guys it doesn't apply please do not go down in the comment section saying that this doesn't apply to you this is not your story if it's not your story it's not your story, baby. You know what I'm saying? A lot of other people that need to be helped, be helped. Because this message is for somebody. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because it's about a sense of worth. And I really do feel like that's what's going to be destroyed over the summer. It's like that lack, that 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 sense of not worthiness, that, six, that sense of being a victim of abandonment and everything. You having this mask on and things like that. You feeling like sex is the healing thing. Like all of that stuff, you being underway. Like all of this stuff is going to be destroyed. And this summer is going to be different you understand like you're going to be it's going to be the reverse side of the five of pentacles you're going to be let back into all of the blessings to things that honestly that you've never even had a whole totally different sense of wealth where you're going to be able to enjoy your summer and all of those things that you were unawakened about even this communication being shut off you having to spend some time to a seclusion to yourself all of that shit is going to be destroyed. You understand? In the summer, it's going to be the time to replant and refocus, just like it says. But right now, it's time for you to go through some reflection and some contemplation. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they keep trying to have me tell you, like, the babies is not the answer. Like, babies is not the answer. Okay. So, what is this saying? Waiting and chattering. Okay, so it's like there's some there's some communication that's being had about you. There's some there's some gossip for sure. There's people talking about you and I feel like you're waiting to see like the outcome of something. This is the ten of hearts. So I feel like there's a situation in your love life that's kind of like kind of sell this course like it's done and it's over you might got your heart set on a brand new big fish in the sea and it's like you're putting your fishing line out there and you're waiting to see if like maybe you can go into like a new adventure in love or something like that you know because the ten of hearts represents like um tens represents ending so i don't know if like you might have ended a phase or, or a relationship recently or if you're soon going to be single or something and you're going to be fishing you know you're going to be fishing for new love or something like that but this time you're looking for like commitment you're looking for marriage you're looking for like something that's really going to last the test of time and it's like i feel like you're waiting to see if like someone jumps on the bait and then with this chattering right here like there's definitely people talking about you and then the number nine represents cycle so you know whoever you might have had a situation where y'all might have been going through a whole bunch of cycles and things and maybe your relationship had come to an end or is coming to a close or something like that I, you know the number nine represents people kind of being political you understand um people negotiating and like um what can i say like trying to wrap things up in a like a respectable manner you know so like i don't know if like people could be gossiping about like the way you're handling some type of business matters or something or if it was a relationship that 
Because this bird is like gossip. It's like gossip, baby. It's gossip. And like the seven of diamonds also represent... Like, that's, um, like, maybe you having to shell out some unexpected money or something like that, or, um, because I feel like that's what they're gossiping about. It's either you got to give some unexpected money out to complete a cycle. It's like before you do something, I feel like before you make this advance and you are able to move on and do something, it's like you got to pay someone their money first. And it's like not no little bit amount of money. Like it's a nice little amount of money. But once you pay this person your money, it's like whatever ties you have with someone is going to be done and over with here. What is this? Impediment again? Like yes. So the impediment card basically saying it's like the, the 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 more 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 that you um okay so impediment means like paying attention to how you're spending your money how you're spending your time just how, how you giving out your resources do you understand what i'm saying before you not have any at all so i feel like people are talking about you about this money that is old because i do feel like there's money that is old there are people are gossiping because it's like it's something that's being cleaned up it's something that's being handled it's like before i go out here trying to be mr lover boy and trying to like flirt with other people let me pay this person their money first so motherfuckers don't be running around talking shit about me let me just go ahead and clean this old ass shit up wrap that cycle up or whatever but at the same time like this going to impede my process moving forward because if i pay this motherfucker their money i might not have a whole bunch of money left to get where i'm going so it's like i kind of got to think about how to end this shit honestly with this number 13 and number 13 as well represents the scorpio the death card do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, um, this gonna fuck me up to getting where I'm going. But at the same time, there's a surprise here. There's a surprise here. This is a wish fulfillment card. There's gonna be some type of wish fulfillment in the matters of like, um, I just heard life of luxury or something like that. I don't know if you guys are about to look up on an apartment or something. I feel like you guys have been praying for your own space or some shit like that. That's why I feel like this has something to do with, with, with money so someone can move on or something like that. What? Okay, what's this? Yeah, the consultant. The consultant, and it's the three of hearts. So, this might have been a situation where, I mean, I'm not seeing no spades here, but there, you know... So I really don't want to read it as a third party relationship, but it's like it is three hearts there. So I feel like there's a matter where there's someone that they, they might ever be in love with two people. And it's like, do you see how like this person is sitting on two different chairs? It's like they're, 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 they're seated in two different environments almost. And it's like they're consulting someone about... Like, how to move forward, pay off their old debt so they can go forward and, like, live prosperous and kind of have the, like, life of their dreams and their hopes and their dreams and just, like, you know, that's it. It's like, you, but you can't hold on to two different chairs, my nigga. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, hold on, because this is, this is interesting. This is interesting indeed. Give me guidance about this this three of hearts because now y'all got me being nosy, honey. Hold on. Or should I stop it right there? <laughs> Give me one more card. Give me one more card, please. Give me one more card. Okay, two more cards. Three more cards. You got the two of spades gamblers. So like I told you, this is definitely a third party relationship. This is someone trying to close one situation where they kind of feel like it wrapped up and they're trying to they're trying to offer themselves to something new, but they got to pay someone off first. And they're like consulting God. They're consulting someone in matters of heart. And they're like, baby, you taking the gamble there. You taking the risk right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, what they say, don't bite your neck or don't something. And then you got the three, of, the three of diamonds. Most definitely, like this, most definitely a third party relationship. The consultant, the consultant, the consultant. So it's like, like. I don't know if it's like we need to have a talk 
we need to have a talk because I feel like it's like the man is trying to be more logical about what he thinks more logical makes more, what more logically makes sense and a woman is thinking about what more emotionally makes sense and it's like I feel like y'all might have to consult each other about what's going on here and then you got a blonde woman and then you got a blonde woman here. And then what is this here? This is the eight of hearts. So it's like mutual attraction or something like that. And you know blondes have more fun. So this is what I'm getting. I feel like this person would love to be able to just move from one situation right into another. I feel like there are definitely people gossiping and talking about this because other people see exactly what it is that you're trying to do. And I don't know, this could have something to do with money. I don't know if maybe you feel like your heart is more comfortable and your pockets would be more comfortable in this other situation. Do you understand? Because it's a lot of heart and it's a lot of money out here. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I feel like someone does have some money, but before they need to move on, they have to pay off somebody else. And once you pay off this person, you ain't got almost nothing. So it's you taking a gamble. You taking a gamble. But it's like you're... You're praying on this surprise, on this wish being granted here. But it's like, before, I feel like before you make a move, it's like y'all having to consult each other to make sure that the feelings are mutual a little bit. Do you understand what I'm saying? But there is most definitely a third party in this situation. And it may be this blonde woman right here. There's three different people. It's th two women and one man. Two women and one man. And you already know. It seemed like the Scorpio said that they was cutting things off. Because it got to be more than just sex. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day. You might be thinking about what logically makes more sense for you. Or what financially makes more sense to you. Okay? But I'm thinking about my heart. You understand? Because I love myself. And that's one thing that I know for sure, you know. And if there's a third element in here, to, which it says the answer is yes. The answer is yes. There is a third party in this situation. So don't try to play no fucking victim. Don't play no fucking victim, y'all. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Because it's like you're not even alone. You still, you still got, you still got Slimmy. You still got this one here. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like one person might be more interesting and one might be more fun. And one might not be as fun and interesting as the other. But at the end of the day, it's like you can't have you can't have both. You understand? Like that person was sitting up there holding both of the chairs. Like, holding both of the chairs. And it's like, you cannot hold both of these motherfucking chairs, my nigga. You gotta choose one place to fucking sit. And if you can't choose, motherfucker, I choose for you. I'll cut you out. Bye-bye. The end. Like, you know, to... Like, it seems like... That's, that's definitely what it seems like. And it seems like someone is still trying to hold on to both chairs. And you can't hold on to both chairs, my nigga. But anyway, I love y'all. Y'all hit that like button, baby. Lord have mercy. This has been your reading. It's Scorpion Reds. If this video resonated, please hit that like button. If you guys want to support, y'all hit the about tab. If you guys want to book, hit the about tab. Hit um if this resonates with y'all, make sure that y'all hit me down in that um comment section because I read all of the comments, y'all. I love y'all. Peace.